What's up, guys? We're back yet again for another Bucks film study. Today will be the seventh pick, Mr. Irrelevant himself, Grant Stewart. You can see it there, pick number 259. What is he? He's a smaller type of guy. There's a reason why he fell this far, 5'11", and a half, 230, small arms, bigger hands. But what does he bring to the table, Plus, What is he most likely to do? Special teams. I mean, he's going to be a force, uh, I believe, on the special teams unit. He's a guy that, like like you said, nonstop motor, uh, he's his ability to just really run down for downhill, make tackles. Uh, so I think special teams is where it's going to be a strength, but I'm not saying he can't be a, a decent linebacker, especially on early downs in the run game, as we're going to show here, uh, his ability to block shed and, and get upfield is, is pretty impressive. Again, middle of your screen, he just takes on blockers and he's going to be able to, you know, make the tackles. So Tackling is definitely a strength, so I think that's why you know special teams really suits him well. Yeah, because he's going to have to get down on the field quick in a hurry and then be able to get rid of these blocks to get in on the tackle. So I like his effort here. I mean, he's literally just pushing up on the arms of the offensive lineman here to shed him off. I mean, he's going to be smaller than everyone on the field, especially any defensive lineman or offensive lineman. So he's got to use his leverage, his smarts to evade these guys. And he's quick enough to evade the bigger dudes. I mean, you can see this guy pulling over here. He's going to come in to block him, just sheds him right across, makes a tackle. So he's he's quick enough, and he's also strong enough if there's, there's a smaller blocker coming after him. Correct? Right. And it's, you know, that's how he's going to have to win at the next level. He's going to have to be smart. He's going to have to be quick, fast, and be able to have good techniques so he can get off of these blockers coming at him and being able to get in the backfield and make tackles like this. Um, as you see here, again, just being able to shed – the blocks that are necessary in front of them again identifying which gaps it's coming through and, and being in the right spot and that's usually what he is so very smart player uh, a guy that you know understands his limitations and understands you know how to get back in there and, and make the play um, again always hustling and playing till the whistle blows yeah he's like a tasmanian devil let's be honest about that and the hair i love it i mean buck fans are gonna fall in love with that thing but <laughs> that thing I mean, check him out here. Like I was talking about smaller guys, the running backs going to try and chip at him. He just literally tosses him aside, like a little ole there, letting the bull go past him and just makes the tackle right there. I mean, hustle is part of his game, a big part of his game. He doesn't stop, like you said, goes to the whistle blows, sometimes goes even after it. But, hell, he's going to want to make the team somehow, and it's going to be on special teams. But here it's just more showing his speed. Tackle's going to try and come out, chip him. He reads it, quickly gets out of the way. Finds a man, makes a tackle. He does have a nose for the ball. Let's give him that too. So either way, I mean, check check this out. Watch him. He knows the ball carrier is getting it. He has two avenues he can go to. He can actually go right up the middle here or he go outside. So he even delays his little hitch in his giddy up there and then gets to the outside. So I mean, he's not just going to be special teams. Maybe he could become something later down the road if bearing injury, but I mean, I like, I like what I see from Grant Stewart. Yeah, I agree. I, I like Grant too. And I, I think he could become something as you, as you see here again, just being able to get down sideline to sideline and, and make the hit, make sure the guy is down. Um, so he's always running to the football. As you see here, I like the little shoulder into 65, you know, get the clear and then get after the running back and make sure you finish the play. Um, now, as we see here, this just shows his drive and effort, you know, watch here. He's going to stand 13 up and really drive him back. I mean, look at that. Never quit. Whistle hasn't been blown yet, and then he's going to drive him to the ground. So, as you see, his teammates love him. Uh, teammates really support him. So, I think he's going to be a fun guy in the locker room, that's for sure. Yeah, and then on pass coverage, you better make him one-on-one -on -one with, the like, on man defense because that's where he does thrive. He's quick enough. He's He's got hustle. He's got speed to his nick game. He played defensive back and safety um, in college ranks, so he, he does have that. And zone coverage, that was saw, and you'll see later, he just isn't the best at. But, I mean, check him out here in man coverage. Again, going against a bigger guy, tight end, matched up. He just mans him up, slows down his route, disrupts it. Even though it's a mesh concept, still with him. I like that. Now him, pass rushing. What do you like here? Blitzing. Yeah, again, it, it suits his, his strength, which is downhill. Coming, you know, after the quarterback, as you're going to see here, just – you know, coming in like a loose cannon as he jumps over the running back and then picks up the, the football there, takes it to the house. So he is aware, uh, you know, of his situation, aware, you know, aware of what's going on around him. Um, so he has that nose for the football, like you said earlier. And I like this here, just fighting through traffic and then making the hit um, as the quarterback has nowhere to go. 
again, fighting off blockers, you know, getting around to the outside and then finishing. And that's, that's a finish right there. Quarterback has no business holding that ball that long. He deserved what he got, <laughs> but yeah, Grant right there getting excited. Got to love it again, just blitzing in and he makes that quarterback pay. If he holds on to the ball too long, if you hold on to it a little second longer, he gets a sack, but either way, shoulder right to that chest, not going up to the head like that as well. Let's not get too many flags here, guys. And then I really like this. Like how many men he has to avoid to get to the quarterback. Kind of sheds a tight end, kind of finds his way inside to get to the quarterback. I mean, look at the little cut inside. Boom. I like it. What do you see? Yeah, I like it too. I mean, it just, it, again, it's his ability to see, diagnose. Okay, this guy's going that way. I'm going to cut inside. And, and just being able to see it before it happens. So that shows good awareness and good vision um, to, you know, make take the right angles to make the play. Now here you can see like sometimes his size does can be a hindrance, but again, he's still going to fight and, 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 you know, play till the whistle blows, but you know, 67 has a good grasp of him. He, he struggles here to get off the block, but then eventually he gets off of it and he makes sure he finishes. That's for sure. Um, out of, out of bounds there. And now in coverage, like I was touching on zone coverage is not his thing. I mean, you see this guy coming right across your face. He's going to go behind you. You think you'd feel that happening behind you. He's still looking at the quarterback, just realizes, holy crap, there's a guy there. And then there's nothing but open space for that guy to run into. Yeah, he probably should have done better. You see his hustle there, makes a tackle after the play. So you got to like that. That's probably where he's going to be. Let's be honest. He's a special teams player based on size. He just doesn't match up well if he were to be a starter. So special teams, you got to make it here. Other than that, what else do you see him as? Yeah, I agree with your assessment. I think to start off his career, he's definitely going to be a special teams player, and he could be a very good one at that. And there's nothing wrong with that at the next level. Um, you know, granted his limitations as far as size and length, like you said, you know, maybe he develops into something where he could be, you know, a backup linebacker and, 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 you know, rotate in as far as like a blitzer or, or something along those lines, especially in Todd Bowles' scheme. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this content. Hopefully you, you enjoyed the video. Uh, you know, be sure to give us a like um, and also subscribe if you haven't. Uh, comment down below what you think of Grant Stewart at the next level and what do you think he could become for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers.